It wasn't too long ago we moved from the city to the country. Now when slickers like us trace sidewalks for sod, there's bound to be a learning curve. In our case, it's been rather steep at times. There's a hornet's nest right here. Come here. I'm not going under the hornet's nest. I want to show you where it is. No, I'm, they're, no, I'm allergic to these. If I get stuck, you not, have to rush me in the to the hospital, I just and I'm to allergic, and I'm pregnant. You don't have to come out. Just put your, stuff, your stick your head out. Look to your left. I know there's going to be something to the there. Post. Look between the post and the house. First it's the porch, now they're moving right into inside the house. I, what are they, I going up like under the eaves? Up, what are they, wasps, yellow jackets? I think they're hornets. Oh my god. Man, look at them. Oh my god, that they're is going disgusting. Right up inside the house. I, don't, I don't even really, really need to see it. No, I really, Seriously. honestly, it's disgusting. Well, how do we get rid of well, that? Well, I'm gonna. I think if I, I want to put a ladder up to the lower. Uh, you're not. You're, no, no, no. Th th this is not an issue listen, where you deal with it. I have a can. You have a can. Uh, you not? No, Are you not? Guess what? You run, they fly. It's not a good combination. No, we call an exterminator. Okay, you call him out here. I'm telling you, he's gonna say to you. He's gonna say. I could have done it with my he's spray He's gonna can. say if your husband does it, he's right, not. No call. All right, I'm calling. Kenny? Ron? Yes. Kenny from the Guaranteed Pest Control Company. Nice. Bug, <laughs> bug killer, right? He's a, the, the Terminator here. The Terminator. Hey, Kenny, I'm Lynn. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Lynn. Too. a shotgun here or what? Well, Ashley, uh, facsimile thereof. It, it will do the trick. But I said to Lynn, I could put a ladder up here to that gutter. Okay. <clears throat> Get up here. This says I can be 15 feet away. Okay. Hit the suckers, right? Okay. Get down off the ladder and run if I have okay. to. She says that that's not a good idea. I that's think you why should film here. it. Two words, brave and stupid. You know something? Um, in a void area nest such as this, where it's either in the inside of the fascia or behind a wall, and they have like several entrance areas, Yeah. that, which is probably mostly a pyrethrin, which is a quick kill, which is the same as going like that, it will definitely kill. I told you. Why did you tell me that? He's just saying it. He's confirming it. It'll kill him. It will take care of, of any of the perpetrators around your house and make an unconditional. Perpetrators. They're perpetrators. I like that. <laughs> They're perpetrators. He shows up with a shotgun after <laughs> perpetrators with women. I say, I say, go to work. Can we watch okay. you do this? Absolutely. I'm going to go right we to, to work. Stand out of the way here. The only thing we have going against us in a situation or a scenario like this is that we can't really see the the entrance point, but we know that there are several of them up there. So I treated several of the what I would call openings. And I put enough of the FICAM dust, the bendio carb dust, in the, the proper area where they'll pick it up and they'll track it around. That, that nest inside that wall there might be about two or three feet long. It's a technical situation, whereas it has to be done right, or else it could be dangerous, or you could be wasting your time. And if you don't know if you're allergic or not, you know, the results of being stung, stung can be very devastating. Okay, if I just take a walk around the house myself, if I see any other any other hornets sort of just swarming like that, I know I got a problem. You know you have a problem. I know I have a nest out in the back, too. Absolutely. We could take care of that, too. Uh, there's one small nest right there on that post. You see it? That's a different that, type of wasp. That's a Polistes wasp. Can I do those with just this can? A lot of times this will kill the adults, but it won't take care of the eggs. What happens if I spray them right now? Well, I'm sure that you'll, you'll, you'll kill those that are right on the nest without a doubt. Are they going to come after me? Well, I'm going to back off. They look pretty bad. They're dropping. They're dropping like flies. Ron, I, I love the yellow jacket segment, but I think we should learn a little bit about them. They seem They're nasty bit, insects. They're aggressive. I actually, I got stung the other day on the wrist, like eight hours. Still hurt. Yeah, they they can sting you more than once too because they're not in the bee family, which a lot of people think they Their are. Their stinger doesn't fall off. Mm -mm, doesn't fall off, so they can sting you multiple times and they can bite you. Well, we're not dealing dealing with your average bee here. No, they're much nastier. <laughs> All right, go ahead, have a laugh. But I'm dressed for battle, and if you're going to tackle these guys, you probably ought to do this, too. That means protective clothing, long sleeves, gloves. And you know what I'm really worried about? Those guys coming up behind me, getting inside my collar and going down inside my shirt. So I think a towel over your head with a clamp like this, that's not a bad idea. And to keep them out of my face, this face mask from the shop. Just put it on like this. Now, these will go up to 15 or 20 feet, so stand well back. And it's probably best to attack a nest at dusk or at dark when they're less active and never try to do one inside. Okay, you guys, 
Take that. 